Facial recognition is sometimes used over passwords for secure access, but if an intruder uses a mask, some biometric systems can be tricked into letting him in. Computers rely on complex algorithms to learn and recognize our faces. However, systems of biometric identification can be surprisingly easy to get around. A European research project is studying weaknesses in biometric systems in order to make them more secure. We discovered that the biometric systems most effective at recognizing a person are also potentially the most vulnerable. Every time there's a new attack, we have to develop a new countermeasure. So there's still quite a bit to do before we understand why biometric systems are vulnerable. Realistic masks are the latest challenge to facial recognition systems. Until recently, infiltrators used photos or videos of the targeted person's face. Software developed by the researchers prevents such attacks. Firstly, there's eye blink detection. The software can ask the user to blink at the right moment. That makes it impossible to log in by just showing a portrait of the person to the camera. Another countermeasure is motion detection. A printed face and a real face don't move in the same way. Researchers are working on a further feature that would analyze skin texture that should allow their biometric software to distinguish a real face from a realistic mask. So, facial recognition still needs some work. Maybe fingerprints are more reliable. Fingerprint patterns are often considered a perfectly secure method of identification, but these researchers have shown that's not always the case. Studi recenti hanno dimostrato che è possibile Recent studies have shown that it's possible to con fingerprint systems with artificial fingers, which can be made with something easily bought in a supermarket. A fingerprint left on some surfaces, such as glass, can be copied and reproduced within minutes. The quick and cheap process involves making a gum fingertip and replicating the skin pattern of the original. Incredibly, many fingerprint scanners don't see the difference. We can choose a fingerprint stored in the system and use its replica to get an almost perfect match. The proposed solution is so-called liveness assessment, which, when activated, rejects the scanned fingerprint if the skin texture appears too artificial. As we can see, our system measures two things. The pattern match score, here it's relatively high, as you can see in the green bar, and the liveness score, very low, that's the red bar. So even with a very accurate fake fingerprint, an imposter won't be able to pass through security. Keeping one step ahead of the fraudsters is keeping biometrics experts on their toes.